Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. It is so good to have you here. This is the Quebec Quickie series, where we take short looks at features coming in the Quebec version of ServiceNow. This episode is brought to you by DotWalk.io. DotWalk.io are the makers of Bootstrap, an AI tool that interrogates your instance and builds all your actual test cases into the ATF framework. Eliminate the hardest part of an ATF deployment without buying new and competing frameworks. All right, this episode is about Analytics Q&A, a natural language processing interface to reports. We have people ask us for reports all the time, so why not find a way where a natural language processor tries to figure out what they want? Time will tell if the tool is going to be savvy enough or that the users take the time to develop a lingo to interact with it. This is available from either the Create a B Report button in View Run or from your Analytics Hub. It's now the first thing that happens when somebody goes to create a new report. They have the option to ask a question. And the main thing you want to stress when rolling out to, this, to users is this, how can I improve my results? It does take a certain getting used to the types of things that the NLP will return for. It tells you what kind of aggregates you can have, how to express trends over time, how to do sorting and grouping, how to handle dates, how to determine what type of visualization will output and how to filter and do some other stuff like just code words for priority, P1, P2, etc. Let's take a look at some examples. Let's ask it, my group's open incidents. Okay, that worked well. It seems to have built a condition builder. Um, assignment group is one of my groups and active is true. I really like this because it interpreted open as active is true. Let's underscore that by giving another example. Let's ask it, my group's not closed incidents and we see that assignment group is a dynamic, one of my groups, and state is not closed. Excellent control of nuance there, I'm very impressed. Let's do incidents not updated in 30 days. It doesn't seem to know what that is, so let's try another way of expressing. Let's do incidents updated over 30 days ago. That is so much better because it built the condition updated relative after 30 days ago, awesome. Now let's really make it earn its dinner. Let's ask for P1 incidents updated over five days ago by business service as a pie chart. And there we have a pie. Priority one is critical, updated over five days ago, and it's grouped by our business services. I'm gonna go out on a limb and say that over time, this will be as useful for ServiceNow admins as it will customers, as you can express things faster than you could build them in the query builder. Here's imagining a future where the virtual agent can use this feature to help feed reports. Or maybe inbound email processing can mail back report results upon request for people who can't necessarily get into the system. Or having this integrated into the service portal so customers can access their own reports. Lots of exciting stuff to look forward to. This feature is currently available in English, French, Spanish, German, and Japanese. Highly suggest you start working with it today to get used to the lingo.